There is a mystery unfolding in northern Manitoba and it has a First Nation community on edge. The RCMP is investigating the death of an 11 year old girl. Residents first suspected she'd been mauled by a bear, but police are treating it as a homicide. Here's Vashi Capellos. Just days after Teresa Robinson would have turned 12, the RCMP's revelation they're treating her death as a homicide has left the Garden Hill community reeling. Social media tributes pouring in. We all miss her so much. She's gone but never forgotten, they read. And there's this video posted to a Facebook page in her honor. There's also fear that a killer is on the loose in the remote fly-in community more than 500 kilometers north of Winnipeg. I hope they get this monster that did this, one Facebook post reads. When asked if there are any suspects, the RCMP would only say no arrests have been made. Robinson disappeared from a birthday party back on May 5th. A local search didn't start until days after that. Remains were eventually found last Monday. The RCMP was only then called in. RCMP say they haven't positively identified the body, but believe it's Robinson. You know, this is a very difficult investigation involving that of a child. And uh, again, um, we are doing everything we can. Earlier this week, hundreds in Garden Hill gathered for a candlelight vigil. Probably a group of uh, 10, 15 little girls at the, about around the same age at uh, uh, 10, 11, 12, uh, hugging each other and they were crying. And uh, it was sad to see, they were, they were sad to see their friend go. At the time, community members suspected Robinson had been mauled by a bear. But the RCMP says while her remains were disturbed by animals, there is no evidence to suggest that animals played a role in her death. This isn't the first time Garden Hill is dealing with a tragedy. The First Nation is home to Rennell Harper. In November, Harper was badly beaten and left to die near a river in Winnipeg. She survived, though her recovery has been difficult. Meantime, the RCMP's investigation into Robinson's death continues. A number of different police detachments are involved in that investigation. Many questions remain. Chief among them, why did it take so long to call the RCMP in? and who could have done this.